The New York Rangers drop a disappointing Game 2 of 82 to the Columbus Blue Jackets, 5-3. And, you know, this was one of those games where the Rangers outplayed the Columbus Blue Jackets for pretty much the entire game, other than, I would say, the second half of the second period. And, you know, other than that, the Rangers controlled pretty much all this game. They outshot them by a crap ton. I mean, it was 42 shots for the Rangers to 21 for the Columbus Blue Jackets. The Rangers just couldn't get the job done. They just could not get the job done. It was unfortunate. It's one of those games where, you know, you outwork the team. You know, maybe I outwork for the, for the most part, but I think for pretty much the entire game, for the most part, like I said, the Rangers controlled possession of the puck, had a lot more chances, a lot more shots, but just couldn't get the job done. Defensively, though, the Rangers were pretty atrocious this game, I thought, especially Schneider and Jones. And they really struggled this game. Two of the goals that they were on for were just kind of bad ones that they really should have been better on. So it's one of those games where, you know, obviously the bounces don't go your way and they just didn't play great, which it sucks. But I think overall, you know, Igor, you might see the five goals on 21 shots and say he was awful this game. And, you know, for Igor's standards, yes, this was an absolutely terrible game. But I think if you really take a look at the goals that went in, a lot of them you can say weren't really his fault. I mean, a decent amount of them were tips or they were guys wide open back door or it was a 2 one So I'm not trying to make excuses for Igor. I'm just saying, you know, there definitely was a few goals here where you could say, weren't really his fault and the Rangers definitely should have been better defensively which I'm sure Laviolette would agree with me on that obviously we're not talking to Laviolette here but what I'm saying is there was a decent amount of you know defensive things that were definitely bad in this game Schneider and Jones they had an awful game I'm going to be honest here there's a reason why Zach Jones played 12 minutes and 14 seconds on the night he did not have a great game and definitely struggled a decent amount so we'll see what happens moving forward but I definitely think that we're probably going to see a lot more of Gustafson as that 6D man alongside Braden Schneider. Because I thought they played pretty good game one. Uh, but Jones definitely did not have the greatest game. But it's still only his one game. He's still young. He's still growing. But defensively, he definitely still has some issues. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, taking a look kind of you know period by period here. First goal by the Rangers. A fake slap shot by Gustafson. He makes the pass. But it actually ends up going off Liam Foody skate. And goes in the back of the net. Assisted by Foxy and VC in his you know, first game. Didn't play game one, obviously. So... Good for him. Then Hedo's goal gets called back because Lafreniere was offside on the blue line. He was you know, on the blue line making the pass and he kind of slides into the zone as the puck leaving his stick from the pass. So he was offside, unfortunately, there. Then Boone Jenner scores one of three goals right here. He had a hat trick, so good for him. The captain of the Columbus Blue Jackets. So, you know, Schneider trying to make a, a backhand pass along the boards to Jones. Jones misses it. Um, gets to Marchenko. Marchenko passes up front to Gaudreau, and Gaudreau kind of taps it across to Jenner, who's wide open on the side, and he kind of smacks it home. So kind of unfortunate there. Someone should definitely have been on him, but both demon were in the corner there, so that's kind of you know what happened. Uh, definitely a you know bad play by Jones and Schneider on that one. And then you see Zabana Jad's goal get called back as well. Kreider was offside by a bit, so another one where we scored, but it got called back, so that's two in you know the first bit of the first period and then you have a shot that you know hits Igor's arm trickles back on the goal line and Truba just you know slides out there stops with his stick they call it a goal they review it and obviously it didn't go in the back of the net so that, that was a good save by Truba there so that was three reviews in the first period which is kind of funny to see and then a little after that you see Fox get a penalty and Gaudreau shoots it from the point and Jenner tips it in for his second of the game and then we're going to the second period here so Jenner already has two goals in the first period then onto the second period here, um, you know, Rangers can't clear the puck. Jake Bean gets it and he rips it as well. And then, of course, Boone Jenner is there to tip it in as well. So that's a hattie for him. He gets two tip goals and another one where he's wide open in front of the net. So really a lot of defensive lapses there all by the Rangers on pretty much all of Boone Jenner's goals. And obviously that happens a lot when the other team scores. But, you know, some definitely some big mistakes by the Rangers there defensively in this game. That made it 3-1 for the Columbus Blue Jackets. And again, though, you know, you just see a lot of mistakes and stuff from Schneider and Jones in this game. And then Yurchek, David Yurchek, former, you know, top 10 pick by the Columbus Blue Jackets. Um, he's like his fifth or sixth NHL game, something like that from him. And he gets his first NHL goal. So good for him. But unfortunately, it comes against the Rangers. And he just rips one past Igor with like six guys in front of Igor. So Igor really couldn't see much of the puck there. So that makes it 4-1. Kind of unfortunate. Then we go on to the third period here. Mers Lincolns leaves with an illness. So Spencer Martin comes in the backup who claimed off waivers a few weeks ago. And Will Cooley, though, he ends up getting his first NHL goal slash point. So good for him. 
Uh, they're skating in the zone. Trocek has it, drops it back to Cooley, and Cooley just rips it in the slot. So a nice goal there by Cooley. And then a little after that, we see the Rangers putting on some pressure, and Jacob Truba has a wide open net, and he smacks it off the post. So just an unfortunate bounce there. Just another one where the Rangers just couldn't get the job done. And then Panarin on the last goal by the Blue Jackets, He's the last guy back. He tries to put some pressure on and ends up giving up a 2-1-0. He shouldn't have jumped up there. Ends up being a 2-1-0. Cole Sillinger makes a nice pass on the 2-1-0 to Danforth, and Danforth just tucks her home to make things 5-2. And the Rangers score uh, you know, the third goal late in this game with the empty net. Kreider scores and kind of just shoots it off of rebound off good Branson and, you know, assisted by Panarin and Foxy as well. But overall, though, the Rangers need to be better defensively. The offense was cooking 42 shots, three goals. Had a lot of chances, should have buried a few more, should have been better defensively, but overall, you know, offensively looked pretty fine and defensively looked pretty bad. So hopefully things turn around though, definitely need to be better defensively, but we'll see how that goes moving forward. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed, please smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for daily New York Rangers content, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Comment out your guys' thoughts on this game as well though, and see ya.